Hi, this is Shadi and today we're discussing uh, leg locks, particularly the lost ones. And when I say lost ones, meaning they are not being used uh, whatsoever or they are just unknown. Uh, when I say lost, you know, now we have uh, leg locks like the heel hooks, the uh, straight ankle locks, toe holds, knee bars, calf slices. They are still being used in competitions, not in judo competitions, but you know what I mean. So they are somewhat preserved. But uh, today I'm going to talk about the lesser known leg locks in the judo uh, curriculum that are un relatively unpopular for several reasons. Either people just don't know about them or simply they are not as efficient as other leg locks. Uh, hence, uh, people are not resorting to them and they are far more likely to develop uh, strategies around very efficient leg locks like uh, the straight ankle lock, the heel hooks um, from all sorts of entries. So uh, waking up today to the news that the IBJJF uh, is allowing heel hooks and knee reaping in no gi in brown belt and black belt while judo are still continue to banning uh, either grips or techniques like the uh, flying arm bars um, or flying triangle chokes so i somewhat have to stress the importance of technical heritage uh, of judo uh, before it is completely wiped out and gone so without any further ado the first one is gonna be the tate uh, tate shiho hiza hishigi now this one you can get it obviously from the mount position the tate shiho uh, the name says it all and here uh, while you hook the ankles of uh, uke you can spread them all apart uh, so much so that you can uh, cause a tear in the knees and now uh, you you might need a lot of strength and leverage in order to pull such a technique off and also you have to be in my opinion strong and heavy uh, with your uh, mount ma maintenance in order to really pin them down in order to create such a stress stretch but it is easily escapable so not in my opinion the most efficient the next one is the hiza tori garami now we've all heard of the uh, figure four ankle lock when someone is back mounting or in the back mount when they cross their leg the most deadliest mistake here you see Kyuzo Mifune demonstrating it this one uh, demonstrates a similar principle but uh, back mount or Ushiro Gatame can be done with a figure four body lock uh, when the leg is inside your legs you can do like a half uh, I'm sorry quarter guard and proceed to uh, slice the calf so to speak um, you need a lot of leverage from this position I don't know if that's a lot or very efficient uh, the next one is Ashi Kanuki. Um, in the past, I called Ashi Kanuki the half guard, but it is actually the submission that's being done here. So I apologize for the misinformation. Half guard can be a, a type of Ashi Garami. Uh, the single leg X is a type of half guard. You have Sankaku Ashi Garami, which is, uh, you know, your basic uh, half guard. But here uh, it is actually a calf slice from half guard. You see, uh, when you uh, extend the leg, that's a uh, and you know having an ankle to ankle connection you create a lever in order to bend the leg and the other one that's underneath the other leg you slide it on the calf uh, and you create uh, a pressure on the calf and here while you extend the leg that's uh, on top of your other leg you create a bend in the knee and the other is slicing the calf. So uh, in my opinion, it can be a very efficient leg lock from this particular position. Uh, and underrated as well, the Ashi Kanuki. So uh, next one is Ashi Kanuki Gatame. Uh, it is simply a uh, crotch split. Um, here you see a very simple demonstration of it, but let's see it in action from uh, entries like the X guard. For example, here an entry from Yoko Tomoinage. You see, pull guard and then uh, do like an X, do a turnover or a sweep and then finish off with uh, the crotch split. Um, Ashi Kanuki Gatame crotch split. People talk about the electric chair but uh, the, being done from half guard but here you can do it. Uh, in the old days they were doing it. So the next one is Kani Garami. This one is more of an entry rather than uh, a leg lock. So you see Kani Basami is the scissor sweep that was uh, legal back uh, in the day. 
Uh, it's still legal in B BJJ, but uh, after the horrendous and grotesque injury of Yasuhiro Yamashita, uh, it was banned. I'm gonna show the clip, but I'm warning you, it is not very pretty. Here you are seeing the different uh, entrance or entries into Kani Basami from Ashiguruma or Oguruma. You finish off with uh, Kani Basami. You can also do a Uchimata feint and then uh, finish with uh, Kani Basami. Uh, I'm gonna play the uh, clip. Uh, like I said, it is not very pretty, but just to show that if you are heavy, uh, chances the more likely you're gonna get injured with Kani Basami. Here you see his leg got stuck and it ripped his knee. So uh, yes, uh, in my opinion, stuff like this are far more dangerous than leg locks because you know, Everyone has heard of the spazzy white belt, so uh, banning Kanye Basami is, is far more logical than banning leg locks in my opinion. So here, uh, as you saw in the demonstrations, rather than taking them back, you take them forward on their stomach and then finish off with whatever uh, leg lock, either Ashidori Garami or the figure four toe hold or here the calf slice. So the final one is the obvious one the ashi uh, hishigi or also called ashi garami the leg lock on the knee uh, this one uh, a lot of people ask why does he, does he tap or why is it so dangerous you are dipping the knee towards the inside and breaking it uh, matai montanabe broke yuji hiruka's leg with it uh, doing this and uh, this really sparked the outrage in order to ban leg locks back in the 1890s at the uh, Butokukai in Kyoto. So, and one of them being is uh, Jigoro Kano. So, uh, I don't understand why is this isn't being done in BJJ. It can be incredibly effective and also there's so much entries that are being studied and developed uh, like people like John Danaher etc so I don't understand why this isn't being used uh, we see it all throughout the footage but it is lost in terms of competition uh, and get this it was actually banned before the ban of leg lock altogether was done so Ashi Hishigi was actually banned in 1916 while leg locks were banned in 1922 so uh, it was obviously efficient that it had to be banned before all other leg locks and uh, it has a standing variations that not a lot of people know about uh, i'm gonna show this so ashigarami in my opinion uh, it can be very easily efficient and brought back to competition here this is a standing uh, variation that knee reap will cause the ibjjf to have an epileptic seizure uh, here this is akitaro ono uh, as uh, Tori and on the ground is Gunji Koizomi, um, the founder of the Budo Kwai in uh, London. I've covered his life and his uh, tragic ending, but nonetheless, you can see how uh, like tough it is. I'm gonna show it in, in action uh, on video. So uh, here you can see you have to obviously reap the knee, and here you pull Uke towards you to create pressure on the knee. Uh, here let's see it again you have inside position and you reap the knee and pull uke towards you causing pressure on the knee uh, so it is a standing variation much like those standing uh, straight ankle locks uh, that were being done or you see Maeda on the photo doing a standing straight ankle lock or inside ankle lock so uh, like I said, a lot of them are just unknown or obscure, simply the fact that they are not as efficient as other leg locks. For example, the uh, calf slice uh, from like when you are in someone's uh, back mount is not as efficient as someone crossing their legs and you're doing a figure four ankle lock. Uh, also, the uh, Tate Shiho Hisa Hishigi, where you are spreading the knee or you know, tearing the knees uh, from mount position is also not uh, as efficient. You also, I, I don't know if someone has done it. Uh, I, I believe uh, Gary Tonin done the Kani Basami entry into leg locks. So uh, that's good, but not as uh, pronounced as other entries. Um, also, you have the Ashi Kanuki, the calf slice from half guard. In my opinion, it can be very efficient. Uh, and a lot of people catch half guard left and right so uh, it can be frequently used but when it comes to ashi hishigi or the submission the ashigarami 
uh, it can be brought back uh, incredibly efficient and it can do a lot of damage uh, and get a lot of tap so if you have anything else to add let me know down below also support me on patreon if uh, you are willing to support my project i have now quite a few videos up uh, on my patreon uh, especially or exclusively for the patrons so if you have anything else to add let me know down below uh, check all the links in the description for uh, the leg locks and also my patreon this was shady and thank you for listening